Welcome back to Vampire. We just spoke with this rather untrustworthy professor, doctor, vampire hunter, whatever they are. Um, our main goal at the moment is to interrogate locals to find more information about the killer. And my immediate, immediate goal is to explore this room. Let's see what's in here. Okay, they don't mind that I just stole some of their money. That's good. Thought there'd be more in here. <laughs> okay, guess that's it. This aesthetic reminds me a little bit of Bloodborne. Now Bloodborne's a lot more like gothic, but still, just like an old Victorian era. I think this is a city where everything's misty and dark and rainy and. Full of monsters. Yeah, I can't leave this place. That door's locked. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Not long ago, this mess would have given me. Hello, sir. May I did you still? Oh, I just learned that left clicking skips lines of dialogue. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle then. Evening, sir. I have a few questions. Well, if you must. <laughs> Just come right out of the gate with, I want the truth. What am I, uh, what is it, Michael Phelps from, uh, L.A. Noir? What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First. I think I already asked that question. Um, I guess there's no reason to go any deeper into that. I want the truth? No, let's say I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. Okay. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please tell me what's going on. <sighs> With Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Citizen hints you've just discovered a hint that reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. So this is the citizen's menu. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on the citizen. Unlocked hints increase the amount of XP. <laughs> yeah, so Sabrina's in their social circle. 
Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. That's the hint that I unlocked. Yeah, so I've heard a little bit about this system. So as it says, basically, the more you progress in like quests and the more you learn about these characters to unlock hints, you will get more XP if you feed on them. If you do, you don't have to. And the interesting thing about the, the feeding system is that the game becomes easier if you feed on more people. If you feed on everybody, then you get a bunch of XP, which you can use to level up. But, of course, and that raises the question of who do you feed on? A lot of people are perfectly fine. Like, they're fine people, there's really no particular reason to feed on them. I don't know if feeding on them means killing them or turning them into a vampire, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume it means killing them. But, uh, yeah, you don't want to... Well, depending on the type of character you're playing as, I'm going to be playing as Jonathan the, the Good Doctor. Um, I don't want to feed on anyone who's not a terrible person. So even though I might unlock all these hints, and I might get tons of XP for feeding on them, I probably won't for most characters. Welcome back. I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I don't think they're coming back. Alright, where are the boats? I can dig through the trash? <laughs> Torn off page of a diary. Ah, no, if you don't press the button fast enough, it doesn't auto-open what you just picked up. So you gotta, like, go digging in menus for it. Is that considered... A collectible? Like here? No? Is it in inventory? I'm gonna have to learn these menus. There's a lot of menus. There it is. Da -da -da, for looking away when they mock my color. I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me. I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone. I hate myself. For hating my parents. I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Brina. I hate myself for never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel. I hate myself. Oh, jeez. That's just Sabrina from inside. New hint available. What, what am I going to do with that, though? Do I just go talk to Sabrina and be like, Hey, I, um, I heard you were sad. Please, leave me alone. Okay, doesn't want to talk for now. You know, I get the feeling that this game is probably meant to be played on a gamepad. I mean, I'm still not going to play it that way, but um, when I'm moving around to the arrow keys, the movement looks a little janky, especially when I go diagonally. Like, that looks really strange. But also, that sort of movement obviously wouldn't happen on a gamepad, so... That's what I'm thinking probably is meant to be a gamepad. Plus, there's a the fact that when you go into the uh, menu and you go to gameplay controls, it only shows you controls for a controller. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Blood and empty gin bottles. 
This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Pruin orders, 30th of October, from G. McCollum to Dock Patrols. Object, multiple deaths in the Dock's region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. I was about to say, can I swim? I don't think so, but I can teleport. Ooh. Oh, you can see enemies that are nearby through walls. Opportunity attack. F silently behind an enemy. Everybody on the ground floor first. V to spot enemies around and display their enemy cards. Yep, already saw that. Um, some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. Four types: melee, ranged, blood, and shadow. Orange means medium. Red means high. Okay. Shotgun shell plus one ranged weapons. Uh, use a ranged weapon to right click, inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess that's another sort of similarity to Bloodborne then. Where you have a ranged weapon that you can use, like a, a gun, but it's really not your main weapon. You don't find enough ammo for it to be that. It's more just for I don't know if it's like gonna do a lot of damage, but I know in Bloodborne it's pretty much entirely used to stun opponents, so there's opportunity attacks. Okay, so wait, right click used to be my stake, now it's a gun? No. Maybe it'll just appear automatically during combat? Now hold on, is this actually where I'm supposed to go? I think it might be. Well, in that case, let's try going up here. Oh, hello. Best turn around if I were you. Nope. Ugh. Give me my loot. Four aluminum shards. Whoa. 
Whoa, don't step in the fire. Uh, I think the first ability is a heal. Yes. Yeah, I definitely didn't use my gun. I'm just gonna assume everything's fine and it'll make sense in due time. That's very convenient. Oh, used Lupara. That's definitely a gun. Sawn off shotgun, mostly used as a short range defensive weapon. Rats and hideouts. Rats, rats are often located near hideouts. Using senses will help you locate them more easily. I'm not going to eat the rats. But I guess I can also just use them to tell me where hideouts are. Right? This means there's one nearby. Oh, up there. You found a new hideout. You can spend your XP while resting or craft items at the workbench. Come and handle parts, lead plate. Ah, oh, there's the workbench. Do that in a second. Refill all. Nice noises. Actually, that's a disgusting noise. It's this weird musical noise mixed with, like, a wet, sloppy noise. Ew. So I guess you just get free ammo, then. That, to me, implies you probably can't hold very much ammo. See what we can do. Ah, I have enough components to improve one of my weapons. Any one of them? Oh, select a melee weapon. Oh, well, I guess my main weapon would be the best one to do. Ah, that's what the lead plates and the common handle parts are for. It's gonna upgrade it from 45 damage to 58. That's a big increase. Nice. What about these? Uh, I need aluminum powder. Don't have enough to do another one? Nope. So I can also craft some other stuff too, like serums to, I think, temporarily boost my abilities. I can do treatments for citizens. I'm sure I don't have the stuff to do any of them. Yeah, I don't. Use it to cure a sick citizen during a dialogue. Can cure sepsis, anemia, fatigue. Okay, so... I'm not just going to be curing the plague. It looks like I'm just going to be curing more, I, I guess, just other stuff. So serums and medicines, weapons, and recyclable. Oh, the watch. It says good resale value. This item can be recycled into components. So I can either sell it for money or just turn it into a bunch of components depending on what I want. We've already got some decent aggressive stuff. Let's go ahead and increase our, like, defenses and other things. Uh, this too, Big Thirst. Increase your blood absorption when using Bite in combat. Plus 20% blood. That's really good. Let's get that. Gotta make such disgusting noises. 
Let's get one more. Could get more stamina, more health, that'd be good. Increase my blood capacity by 5%. That's not very good. Just 5%, it's not much. Plus 5% heal for the bite. Or plus 100% damage for the bite. Well, I don't really bite to do damage. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's get more health. Alright, see how it said the following night? That's another thing I had heard about this game, is that things actually happen while you're sleeping. You know, as time progresses, things progress. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Maybe sick people get sicker or possibly die. People might move around. Maybe a district becomes more destabilized. I'm not sure, but things do actually happen while you sleep. I wonder if... Oh, shit. I think the enemies respawned. Yeah, looks like they did. Oh my god. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Hello. Used a scythe. Two-handed weapons. Equip a two-handed weapon and press right-click to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Ooh. Okay. Uh, do I have to do it from in here? <laughs> How do I equip anything? Aha! I found it! Yeah, it's in here. You got your main hand, you get two slots for each one, so I can select the scythe as the other one. Oh, two-handed... I see. Takes up one of the offhand slots. Huh. So that means I can't put a weapon there. I'd have to replace the stake if I wanted one of these weapons. Or one of these guns, rather. Hmm. Well, I guess for now I'll switch to... used Lupara. Okay, now my keys should work, right? Yes. So let's try the special ability. It's pretty cool looking. Oh hey, what's that? Lead rod. Oh, just a crafting component, I guess. Ooh, it takes a lot of stamina to use this weapon though. Look at my stamina bar, the middle one on the top left. Let's do a uh, parry and then attack. Basically, I can do two actions with it. Compared to... Still though, let's try it out. This place reeks of bloodshed. This place reeks of boss arena. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Damn, I'm trying to do the the thing. I'm trying to parry. Alright, it's not worth it. Actually, never mind, I'm gonna keep doing it. There we go.
Used bludgeon. Wooden stick reinforced with a metal edge. Destined to crush skulls and bones. I'll check that out later. Are you alive? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. The other. Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. The other voice Who in the room. What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Blood sample. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Okay, just, I, I love this. I can just walk into boxes and they just fall apart in my presence. Uh, not this kind. Uh, this kind. So powerful. That can only happen with vampires. That's so fun. Wow, look at all these candles. And they're all lit. to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician. 
like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. We're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Wow, I look fancy. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. Please, you've lost too much blood. 
calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Medical checkup. E. Press F for details. Okay. Uh. So I can bite them, tell them to be more polite, let them bleed. Okay. Uh. What is this medical checkup? Oh. 500 XP. Does that say they're healthy? I mean, they're bleeding out. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna bite them. I don't. I don't know them. Uh, apparently, I have to say, be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry, I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street, and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word. I was. I am a doctor, Doctor Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. I gotta say, for a surgeon, that is incredibly inappropriate to lecture a person who's bleeding out to death on being polite. The blood quality indicates how much XP you'll obtain from a particular citizen. Okay. Wait, do I have to feed from them? Drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher from the citizen's resistance. Okay, so you can't just you can't just go and like mesmerize the strongest person in the entire like city. Just right off the bat, you gotta get strong enough. Okay, well I guess mesmerizing isn't biting them. Maybe I can mesmerize them and then let them go. I think this person's just supposed to be someone you just kill. Like, I think you have to kill them? I don't see any way around this. Embrace them, or, oh, or spacebar to release him. Okay, embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but there, be aware that there will be consequences. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna release him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Um. Okay, there's they're still bleeding out to death. <laughs> okay, I don't understand. They're still bleeding out to death. They required my help to get me to, to for me to get them to the hospital, and now they're what? Whoa, I feel giddy. Okay, so they feel great from the mesmerization. That that doesn't change the fact that they're bleeding out to death, does it? Does mesmerizing heal them? What the hell? That is that makes no sense. But I don't even care because I got two springs. Whoa. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Basically telling me if I'm too nice and don't kill him enough civilians, then I'll be too weak. Hospital. It's huge. I love the music too. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna head inside of Pembroke Hospital and I guess begin our first shift. <laughs>